when the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, in this case this dashed segment in black is the altitude drawn to the red segment, which would be the hypotenuse of the triangle. It creates some geometric mean relationships, and one of them is expressed in this rule. Each leg of the right triangle, I've shown the legs of our original right triangle in green, each leg is the geometric mean between the part of the hypotenuse next to that leg, or adjacent to that leg, and the whole hypotenuse. Okay, so let's look at W. W is a leg of the original right triangle, before we drew in the altitude. This whole segment is the whole hypotenuse. Now, it doesn't look like its length is given, but we could easily add up 8 plus 6 and have 14 for the whole hypotenuse. The rule says that W is the geometric mean between the part of the hypotenuse next to that leg. Well, next to this leg of length W is this guy of length 8. It's the part of the hypotenuse that's next to or adjacent to this leg. So, W is the geometric mean between 8 and the whole hypotenuse, which is 14. That gives us, by definition of geometric mean, there's that T that I missed earlier, that will be 8 over W equals W over 14. So, if I cross multiply here, I'm going to get W squared is equal to 8 times 14. And let's see, that's 32 plus 80, that's 112. So W will be the square root of 112. Okay, now if we're done, unless we're required to simplify this, if we're going to simplify it, I might notice that I had an 8 here and 2 was a factor of 14. So somewhere in this number, there's an 8 times 2, which is 16, which is a perfect square. So W is the square root of 16 times the square root of 7, because 7 times 16 also is 112. I can replace the 16 with a 4. In simplest form, 4 root 7 is the value of W. Okay, let's look at one more example with this. Uh, rule, and then we'll be done with the uh, out, geometric mean relationships in this right triangle. Let's put a variable out here. Let's call it B. And let's put a number here. Let's just make it 10. Well, again, the same rule applies. The leg, which is the 10, is the geometric mean between the part of the hypotenuse next to that leg, which would be the 6, and the whole hypotenuse, which would be B. Well, by definition of geometric mean, that gives us 6 over 10 equals 10 over B. We cross multiply, 6 times b equals 10 times 10, which is 100. This will be b is 100 divided by 6, which I could take a 2 out of each of those, 50 over 3, which would be a perfectly good answer. If you wanted, that is 16 and 2 thirds. I prefer you not round off and, and make that 16.6 because that's inexact. It's better to leave an exact answer.